In this video I'm going to be modelling a screw. You probably may already realise that I did create a long tutorial the other day, more in depth, which it was for modelling a screw but it, it uh, was more aimed at people who want to know how to use Blender. Whereas this video will basically be just for people who are already familiar with the tools in Blender and they just want to know how to model a screw basically. So I won't go into too much detail. If you do want more detail, watch the other video. Uh, but for this one, let's get started. So I'll just hide that one. And I'll add a curve. Archimedian. And then I'll convert that to a mesh. And I'm going to edit mode. Select all the edges. Extrude those upwards just come out of rendered mode and I'm going to bridge these two and bridge the bottom two and then select this edge loop, deselect that one and deselect this one and then bridge all those and I'm going to extrude those along the normal and I want to uh, scale those inwards a little bit so I'll deselect those Scale those downwards. Just add a bit more geometry. And then I'll flatten the top. Get rid of that. Oop. Do the same at the bottom. merge any vertices because there will be a few that need merging and now I want to uh, just temporarily hide the end caps of this thread just to make selection a bit easier so I'll press H to hide those okay and now what I want to do is just bring that inward so it's a bit closer to the uh, rest of it, so select this uh, loop all the way down to the bottom and I'll select this face as well and I'll just shift H now and I want to bring those in just so it's a bit more lined up with this face not completely because I'm going to extrude that out Somewhere about there should be fine. Just extend the fall off. Yep, I think that should be fine. In fact, maybe uh, maybe a little bit more. Let's get it. Let's get it a bit closer. too far there, let's just undo that. Yeah. Now let's continue, so uh, Alt H and hide. Just select that top loop now. Start, uh, let's bring that down a bit in fact. this curve a little bit
bottom. Too wide, I think, for the top there. Let's bring that in a bit. Let's see what this looks like smooth. with that so uh, let's just see what it looks like with the material oh yeah, blender froze there sorry let's turn the overlays off transparent background and there we are so uh, thanks for watching if you want more detail about the tools that I used then check out the other video um, uh, the material by the way is just it's quite simple it's a Musgrave texture controlling uh, the base color roughness and the a slight bump into the normal so uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time